Once you have finished coloring your patterned snake, remember you're coloring it in a color pattern as well as the shape pattern that you already created. Now it's time to make some grass that that snake can grow in and crawl through. So we're going to use a new material called Quick Sticks. It is paint that looks like a glue stick. Now we're not going to pull this up much or turn it up, twist it up much. So if you don't have enough, only twist the bottom one turn. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with my lighter color, which for me is yellow. You might have yellow or light green. And we're going to make long lines and short lines. And we're just going to kind of make them stretch up tall on the paper. It flows on pretty quickly. And now I can go back and fill some of these in. And others I'm going to overlap with the darker green. And the colors will kind of blend a little. So. This is where you might need to twist it one time. Don't let it get up too far or we'll break off that stick of paint and then it won't help us with anything. After I've done one color, then I put the lid back on, make sure it goes click, and then you can use the other color. And remember, we're making tall grasses and the tops should be thin and the bottoms should be a little wider. And notice how quickly I'm doing this. I'm not spending a whole lot of time and delay um, after I get all the way across. Then I'm going to go back and fill in some of the bottoms of some of these little grasses. And don't touch it yet. It's still wet. So, And now... Now I'm going to let this dry and anything else I need to do, I'm going to just use my crayons to do. So let's look at this one. I noticed that I didn't get all the way down to the ground. You'll want to let yours dry before you do this. But now that this one is dry, I have a couple of options. I could continue with green down here and just add some little green where there is not some green all the way down. Or, you know, grass grows out of the dirt. You might want to put some brown down here. If you want to make it look like some flowers are blooming in your grass, if you want to make extra grass with your crayon, that is fine too. Just make sure that there is some grass all the way across the bottom of the paper. Let's say I want to add a little flower. You can make that flower whatever color and whatever way you want, but here's an easy way. If I pick a circle for the middle and then I pick another color and I make ovals or circles around that and then I color it in. And always make sure that you're doing your best coloring.